In this season of celebration and giving, we have a story tonight about a unique gift exchange that recently saved a whole lot of lives. We're talking about kidney transplants. Currently in the state of Minnesota, we have 1,900 people who are on the waiting list for a kidney. And tonight we have a story about a young woman who just came off of this list, all thanks to a unique chain of living donors. It's been one of the most fulfilling years that I've had. For Mackenzie Meyer and her family, it's been a year of gratitude that started in a season of doubt. I just didn't have a lot of energy, but I chalked that up to being overwhelmed by doing a million things a million miles an hour. Her blood pressure was severely elevated. She called me and I took her to the urgent care right away. And yeah, that's when they found this all out. After a kidney biopsy, she was diagnosed with a rare disease. So they diagnosed me with an autoimmune disorder called IgA nephropathy, um, which is basically your immune system not recognizing your kidney as part of my body. Dr. Timichin Tanner is with Mayo Clinic. How common is this, doctor? It's not a very common condition, Tim, uh, but it's one that is known to cause kidney failure. Mackenzie's parents tested to donate one of their own kidneys. Her mother, Chris, carried an antibody that ruled her out. As for her father... He was a perfect match for everything, but they were looking for a younger kidney because of my age and they want it to last longer, so I don't need to potentially get one in the future. But it didn't mean her father couldn't donate his kidney to someone else. You ended up becoming part of a donation chain. How it does is. that work? Yeah, so it's a pair donation program. So uh, essentially what I did is I donated in behalf of Mackenzie so she could receive a kidney from somebody else. And uh, it, it's been a fantastic program for us. Before Thanksgiving at Mayo Clinic, Mackenzie received a matching kidney from a living donor she did not know. In exchange, Jeff donated one of his kidneys to someone he didn't know. Dr. Tanner performed the operation on Jeff, all part of a six-person paired match chain. We have participated in chains uh, as, as long as uh, 10 people, but nationally, you know, there have been chains that went up to 20 people, which is just, a, just an amazing thing. If you think about it, 20 people, 10 people, they're getting really perfect mashed kidneys for them. Mackenzie is one of three lives saved through this particular paired donation. And one month after her new kidney, she's back to teaching dance again at the In the Spotlight Dance Studio in Rogers. It was great to be back. <laughs> but most of all, grateful for the donor who kept her alive. If that's something that you can do for somebody, I think that's the most rewarding thing that um, anyone could possibly do because you're helping another person add a chance at a new life. It's quite a story. And what Mackenzie and her father really teach us is that not all kidney donations have to come from someone who recently lost their life. Now, Life Source is the organization in Minnesota that manages our kidney transplants. In fact, all organ transplants. And they tell me that we had 549 kidney transplants so far this year in Minnesota, of which more than 200 actually came from a living donor. If this is perhaps something that you'd like to consider, there's a couple of places where you can go to learn more. And one of them is at lifesource.org. The other, of course, is mayoclinic.org. And just search for living donor transplantation. I tell you what, there's so many kidney transplants going on right now. Of the um, 549 you see that took place in mm -hmm. Minnesota in the past year, 304 of them have been done at Mayo Clinic down Amazing. in Rochester. They're becoming a major transplant center there. And Minnesotans have been very generous in their commitment to becoming organ donors. Mm -hmm. Upwards of 56% of all of you out there who have a Minnesota driver's license have checked off that little box to become an organ donor. And so many of these are living donors, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And this network just shows how closely we are all connected. Right, we certainly are. Helping each other yeah. out.